Leave her. They're always overshooting their feed trough. There's nothing in there, Crystal. It's empty. very cold night. So glad I did the, brought the salvias in. <laughs> you girls just want to go inside because it's frosty out. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that is just not going to happen. Nope. Look, there's nothing in the bucket. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. No, there's nothing. I just threw it over the gate so that I could open the gate with my other hand. Nothing. Nothing for you. There's stuff in the food troughs. If you want food, it's in the food troughs. Okay. I've got to escape. You want to come in? Ow! Come on, pups. Oh, I should have my gloves on. I didn't realize it was so cold this morning. You can see there's a bit of frost on her pelts as well. Very frosty morning. barking at. Look at that frosty cold morning. It's very frosty field. Yeah, very frosty. Okay. Magic bucket. I'm bringing it up because I'm doing the lamb, rams and ram lambs and I'm going to move them to fresh pasture. Hey boys. Hey boys, you ready? Whoops, come on. Come on boys. Easy does it, boys. Oh, Jesus. Don't trip me up. You're so big. Hey, leave it. Okay, the boys took off. Not interested in magic bucket. So I'm trying to do this in a different way. The way I was going, they just decided not to go. So I've got to open this gate here and shake the bucket and hope they come. Come on, boys! I think they're coming. I haven't got the gate open. Come on, boys! Baby. Yay! Second option worked. Okay, wait, can you um, back off? Come here. There we go. Oh, I spilled.
spilled it all over his head. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put a bit last of it over there. There. Okay. Everybody's there. Phew! That was exciting. Okay, gate closing. Rams are in a new field. Loads of grass here. And this will allow the garden paddock to recover for lambing as a lovely cozy place for lambs to grow and the grass will recover hopefully by end of March, April when I'll be lambing. The neighbor's cows heard me putting the food in. No, you guys are staying there. No food for you until this evening. Another big dump of water coming tonight and tomorrow. And then you can come inside. I better close this gate now before the rams decide to escape. But I think they're going to love this paddock, this field rather. Go on. Inca, where are you? Inca Dink. Inca's disappeared on me. No, no, no. Go on. You're going back up to the orchard. Come on. Come on, Inca. Where are you? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, I see. They're all at the top. Come on. Go on, Ink. Go on. Shoo. Woo. Brindle, back here. Good girl. You were working, not your mama. Come on, Inca. Brindle, Brindle. Leave it. Good girl. Ooh. A badger has been here. Go on. I know, you want to get itch, you're itchy, you're itchy. Oh no, no, Brindle, leave her be. She's itchy. She's very itchy. Oh, you're so itchy. Oh, you're so itchy. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> She's not going. 
there's walls in the orchard for you to itch. Why do you need to itch on this wall in particular? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Brindle, leave her be. Good girl. Okay. Well, they've had their feed. I'm going to have to start thinking about which yo to breed to which ram. Lambing is going to be end of March, April this year or next year. I'm loving how this red rose is working out here. This was a gift to me. Somebody, uh, birth, their birthday present was visiting here on the farm from their husband. And she gave me some money to go and buy something for the garden as her birthday present to herself. So I bought this red rose and I planted it here amongst this these black bamboos that I transplanted from somewhere else in the garden. And they're really doing really well. And I also bought this rose here, which is really beautiful. This is what it's supposed to look like. Really, really beautiful. Okay, it's the end of season, etc. cetera. Uh, but what's interesting is it's damaged here. You see, it's, there's a break in it. And the rose changed to a yellow rose. So the lack of nutrients because of the break here, I wanted to see what was gonna happen. But this is the rose, this is the reason I bought the rose, was this color, which is so beautiful. And this is what occurred when it broke. These were buds about a week ago, and a dog rushed past or something and broke it, etc. But these are so beautiful, I do love this rose. And I plan to plant it here on this end of the black bamboo because I think this will look so beautiful uh, with the black bamboo. Now, while I've been videoing this and talking about my beautiful rose and its funny dual color, let me show you what's been happening to my back. <laughs> look at this. Mustard, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Now, if I stand up, you're going to fall down. What are you doing? <laughs> anyway, so as you can see, I'm here with the roses. And I was talking about the roses, and he jumped on my back. You're such a funny cat. Now, if I go upright, he's going to fall down or jump off. Oop! He's going to jump off. You silly kitty. You silly kitty. You're such a silly kitty. Up. Hello, everybody's coming. Yeah, yeah, you good, beautiful dogs. Anyway, that's what happens when uh, you have cats. You talk about something beautiful, like these two roses, this one and the red rose, <laughs> and you get jumped on your back. Anyway, listen. You want your supper? And I was calling to the sheep because the sheep are hearing me talk. <laughs> I think I better go feed the lambs their evening meal. <laughs> the rams think they're getting an extra bit of food because I'm down here. But I've had to close them off because I am letting the horses in. Because it is going to be a really, really wet night tonight and tomorrow. We already have a orange forecast warning. So, go on, back off, there you go. And they're off, with mustard watching. He's well out of the way. <laughs> And the rams all ran away over there <laughs> and watching from a distance. Yeah, those galloping horses are scary, aren't they, boys? You guys heard me chatting away in the garden. 
and said it's your dinner time, your supper time, your evening meal time. Isn't that right, babies? Yeah. Oh, no, you can't come through the gate. It's going to take me two hands to get under pop this. Oh, there we go. Okay. Look at them pushing to get through. I have to undo, hook this. Now, you're going to be in trouble. I have to hook this somewhere. Because I have to pick you up. You're going to get stampeded. Come here. Come here. I don't want you stampeded. <sighs> okay. Now. Ooh. Hey, hey. Brindle. Leave them alone. Oh, Jesus. Oh, job. Oh, I held you almost to the ground, but you leapt out of my hands. You're okay. Oh, that was a scary moment. You not to leap out of my hand. That was very silly. It was very good. I managed to hold you till you nearly hit the ground. Bold pup, but he's fine as you can see. Holy moly. That was a scary moment, but he's fine. <laughs> you really are bold. Yeah. Anyway, no Java, leave it. They're all looking fine. Now, before I fed the sheep, I brought the horses in. Isn't that right, Crystal? And you beautiful girl. Oh, you're such a beautiful girl. You're, hey, 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 Maya, leave it. You're such a beautiful girl. Yes, you're such a beautiful girl. You're such a beautiful girl. Why don't you go and eat something, hmm? Hmm? I'm going to give you a little itch in your itchy parts. Yeah. There. You good girl. Okay. You guys aren't eating anything, are you? Hey, Java, no. That's bold. Leave them be. So there will be the food. Java, no, no. <laughs> the alpaca spit at the sheep. Oh, hello. You again. <laughs> You're following all the evening rounds, aren't you? You beautiful kitty. The horses are over in the shed over there. You helped bring the horses in too, didn't you? You're just jealous. You're just jealous. You're just jealous. You're a jealous pup. I'm not allowed to pay attention to anything but you. They're settling down for the evening. There's a storm coming. Well, that serves you right. It's their meal. You want me to bring you in, don't you? I know you. You want me to bring you in to the storm. Where's your daughter? Go on, go on. Brindle, get out of the way. Oh. Nope. Okay. Only one got out. 
They're all going to feed on the orchard apples. They push their way out. <laughs> hey, Java, stop it. Well, that was annoying. And those two are there. They're on the other side. Say lovey. That's the way the cookie crumbles. I better take this electric fence down or somebody's gonna tangle themselves in it. I was just gonna keep the alpaca, give them shelter from the storm, from the rain. I guess all the sheep will get it now. I'll open the, uh, those two are very worried. <laughs> well done, you. Well, you managed to do that very well. You got them to get into the, with the rest of the flock. Oh, you're such a clever boy. He isn't bold as well. Bear's hiding behind the gate. Oh, and Inca's there. That's why I don't have Inca. She's caught behind the fence. An oven mitt. Debating jumping the fence. There we go. And down he goes. 